Boy, oh boy, do I got an awesome video for you guys today. I had a company by the name of Demco reach out to me, asked if I'd be interested in demoing their side dump trailer. And my initial thoughts is probably what you guys are thinking right now. What in the world am I going to do with a side dump trailer? That's kind of when I realized I know very little about these. And without knowing more, I have no idea if I can use one or not. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised. There's some things we learned. There is definitely some applications and some advantages of these things that are far superior to their end dump counterparts. So we covered all in the video. Do a complete walk around and end with a demonstration. Let's check it out. All right, Bill with Dimco, is that correct? That's correct, Welcome Mike. to Derby, Indiana. Thank you very much, sir. What, uh, Happy to be here. You bring a very interesting creature with you. What is this thing? This is our Demco Tandem Side Dump Trailer. This model is configured with a 40-foot chassis, 34-foot tub. And we'll just do a quick walk around and give you some features and benefits of the trailer. Absolutely. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, and probably a lot of my audience is concerned, this thing is an alien. I don't know how many people actually see it, and I'm super intrigued to see how it works. But before we get there, show us the nuts and bolts of it. Show us what makes it work. Show us what makes it different. And uh, I guess how it works, because I still am convinced. I, I guess I need to check, make sure my insurance is paid up on the truck. <laughs> he claims this thing is going to dump, and that's not, but I'm not convinced. All right, Mike. Well, let's start at the beginning here. All right. So this trailer is equipped with six inch cylinders, and that's an option from us. Standard is a five inch cylinder. A six inch cylinder will give you just a little more oomph if you're hauling a big load of riprap or something of that nature. Gotcha. So basically, that cylinder, just a kind of give a little bit of geometry how this works is we can pick and choose whether it dumps left or right, driver's side or passenger side, and that cylinder shoves up in the middle is what makes it happen. So basically the bigger the cylinder, the more lift you got. Correct. Um, can I back you up just a little bit? Let's talk about lift and big loads because you mentioned it right there. So from looking at the spec sheet, one advantage you're going to have right off the bat is you're less weight than most conventional end dumps. That's correct. That's correct. Uh, it looks like it might be heavier, but we are a lighter than a lot of the other steel end dumps on the market. So 40 foot chassis, 30, 34 foot box. Uh, what's the yardage on this box? Uh, the yardage on this box, I believe it's 22.7 cubic So it's going to be pretty similar to something, pretty similar to something in the uh, end dump world. Correct. But you're probably 3,500 to 4,000 pounds less. Yes. That's close to two tons of extra payload. Absolutely. Because right here now, you're sitting just over 16,000 pounds. Absolutely. That's pretty impressive. Thank you. Pretty impressive. So that's uh, that's one huge advantage right off the bat, because nowadays, the more you can haul and dump and get paid for, and the less you're just dragging up and down the road, that's fuel and productivity. Absolutely. Time saving, a lot more uptime gotcha. with the product. Side dumps actually uh, came about in the western part of the United States. And it, when you cross the Mississippi River, you see tons of them. When you come over here east, you don't see a lot right now. However, due to the payload factor, the safety factor, you're beginning to see a lot more of them in the eastern United States. Yeah, I mean, up until the day this one showed up on my lot, I don't know if I've really ever seen any in our area. So I'm super, I, I'm, a, I'm a complete rookie when it comes to side dumps. So I'm extremely interested to see, see how this works and how it fits into uh, our particular operation. Well, so, we're anxious to have you use it and abuse it. I apologize, I got you sidetracked, so <laughs> continue on. Well, let's talk about our tub a little bit and what sets us apart from the competition. If you see up here, we have the flex corner call out. And what this is, this is called a G-rail and it gives the tub a lot of strength but however, if you look up in there, our design, where they are welded, it allows the tub to flex. Gotcha. So obviously the G-rail gets its name from the shape of the rail itself. Absolutely. And that G-rail, the purpose of that is whenever this thing dumps on its side, something has to support the edge of that tub. So Absolutely. that's what gives that tub its rigidity it uh, down through there. It strengthens the tub, but it also allows it to flex. If you look at a side dump dumping in slow motion with a heavy load, the tub has flex to it. And what our design, the way the G-rail is attached to the tub itself, it allows it to flex. On a lot of older side dumps um, that don't have the flex corner design, you'll notice that they'll need to be welded after a few years of use. We might be able to see this better after we demo and dump, but basically what he's saying is this is not welded right there, which allows some movement. Absolutely. And, and then keeps it, from, keeps it from having a failure point right there. So awesome, got it. 
All right, so continuing on down the side, one thing I notice off the bat, and I don't want to hijack what you're going to say here, but everything that can get damaged is bolted on. That's right, Mike. We build these for uptime because you don't want a trailer sitting in the shop for a week. So all of the major structure is basically bolted on, so it's field replaceable. All of our side dumps have three pivot points for stability. And if you look at the pivot point, it is bolted. And what this allows is for field replacement, number one, it also allows for adjustment of the cradle. Um, all of our bushings are sealed and greaseless bushings. And going along with the bolt-on, our fenders, front and back, we use a fairly simple design. These are rugged fenders, and they're designed to take abuse, but if you need to replace a fender, once again, it's a bolt-on design. I'm especially, I'm assuming this would be probably uh, a good use for this would be like debris, like demo work. Absolutely. So occasionally you're going to get something that's going to fall out and hit this thing. Yep. And uh, with, with the way everything's manufactured there, that'd be pretty easy to go. If you say adjustability on these pivot points, is that something you would adjust due to wear or probably a trailer maybe getting tweaked or all, all of the above? All of the above. All of the above. So basically if that thing's not sitting down in the cradle perfectly, you've got multiple different options. That's right. To do it, so. That's right. Awesome. Our tub floor design, it's not a totally rounded design, but if you look at it, it's in several different pieces. Can you see that up there? Yeah. And what that is, when you are dumping, it allows for those sticky loads to fold over on themselves and for quick clean out of your tub. Gotcha. Because uh, we definitely have some sticky dirt around here, yes, don't we? <laughs> we? We might just put that design. All right, put design, it to the test. Right to the test. So for. one thing I noticed looking at the side here is that normal paint. I don't know how else to ask that question. I was going to tell you about that. This is a coating called Corsol. Okay. It's not a paint. How it works is it, it bonds with the steel in a molecular fashion. Okay. So what it does is it prevents undercutting, it prevents rust blistering. Will it chip? Yeah, you'll get some chips in there, but those chips won't spread as with a conventional paint. So in theory, if we get a rock chip or something right here and then go run through the salt, that shouldn't blister out around it. It should just stay right there where that chip's at. Absolutely. We've really? had very good luck with the Corsol product with our trailers. And is that standard on all the trailers? That is standard on all of our side dump trailers. Uh, and that's the chassis and the tub. Black the only color or has we got multiple options? Uh, black or gray. Black or gray. All of the strength too, along with the G-rail on the tub, is built into these side stanchions. So basically this is what kind of transfers the load around the tub right here and, and hangs everything off to the side. Absolutely. In a previous design, there was a center divider in the tub. However, that has been removed. Really? Uh, the tub so it's is full wide open. open from one end to the other. Absolutely. So let's say uh, you're clearing some timber. So you can load logs in there as well. Really? Absolutely. That would be huge in the uh, demo world. Absolutely. Being able to load demo material in there. That's right, Mike. All right, so working our way on around the back side of the trailer, I guess one thing I noticed, and this is totally off base, we got some fancy aluminum rims there. That's right, just for you guys. We know you guys like the bling, so we wanted the yeah. trailer <laughs> to you... have some shine, as as we can see from... <laughs> Did you see the other half of the rig up there? <laughs> <laughs> You're making me look bad, Bill. <laughs> so, but but actually, I guess uh, aluminum's an option, steel's... Uh, yes, yes, aluminum is an option. And one of the advantages of aluminum you're gonna cut your weight down just a hair. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So walking around the backside here, uh, is this what I think it is? It's a push block. It's a push block. So if, if, for example, if Aaron is operating the trailer, gets it stuck in some heavy mud, you can come along with the dozer and loader and get him out of it. It is approved for pushing. He's, he's, we heard it, we got it on video. He's probably seen a few videos and seen what you put me in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry, we got. We don't have to even get chains out. We just got to give you a little shove. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, uh, no worries. We'll put that to the test okay. for you. Okay, and we'll it's also a bolt-on design, too. Oh, <laughs> so there comes the rest <laughs> of the story. So, uh, should I ask how much that costs now or later? Or are you pretty confident in this design? Um, Fingers are crossed. <laughs> <With you. laughs> All right. Uh, so I think back here, am I seeing this correct? Is this our mechanism where we choose left or right? That's right. With a Demco side dump, you can change dump directions very quickly with two levers, fore and aft. 
Okay. And it's a quick process. Mike will show us how to do it. One lever in here. So this is basically a lever that unlocks the cam mechanism. Correct. And then reach up here and grab the arrow. Lock this side. Would open that side up. Well, yeah, go back and forth with that a couple times. So basically whenever he opens that one, it is tied to this one. It's kind of hard to screw that up. Slick. And then lock it back in here. So we'll have to do that twice. Once on the back, the once on the front. Only on the driver's side though. Gotcha. Something else I want to point out is the low center of gravity with the Demco side dump. On a lot of the competition, if you look at a side dump from the side, you can see a big gap between the tub and the chassis. Ours has one of the lowest centers of gravity in the industry and that the tub sits down in the chassis. So operators tell me that it pulls a lot easier and it reduces the so-called pucker factor when you've got a big load. Yeah, so basically this would have nothing to do with the dumping operation. This would have to do with just how it handles going down the road. Absolutely. As guys point out here around here all the time, we do not have any straight or flat roads. Absolutely. So uh, this would be... I'm curious to see how that pans out. We've hauled a lot of dump trailers around these these roads, and uh, it, it, I don't know if the pucker factor is high there, but you really got to pay attention <laughs> to what you're doing. That's right. That's uh, right. Because they will get to walking on you, especially with this one being air ride. Air ride seems to while they're around a little bit more than what spring ride does. So uh, I never even considered that how you're lowering that gravity gravity down to uh, make it handle a little bit better, and the and the weight of the trailer. I know it's empty coming up here made a huge huge difference it does it does and operators once again who've uh, pulled competition that type of thing where the tub sits above the frame rails they say you can really tell a difference especially when it's loaded and sometimes I want to point out those come into play not whenever you're just driving normally you never know when somebody's gonna pull out in front of you the deer's gonna run out in front of you something's gonna happen absolutely where you gotta make an evasive movement and this might be the difference of uh, the outcome that's right a little bit so so Bill, assuming this pretty much comes all standard with the uh, LED lighting package, grommet mount, pretty standard standard stuff on all the uh, lighting? Yes, it does. I've seen one little random switch up there. What does it do? What that switch does is it controls our safety strobes. And this is Mike Niska. He's a sales territory manager, compatriot of mine, and he'll show you how the strobes work. Sweet. <laughs> we, can, uh, we can definitely use those from time to time. What do you think there, man, behind the scenes? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We spend a lot of time on the side of the road. It's amazing how many people don't pay attention. That's always a nice feature, nice feature to have as well. So I guess my next question for you is like, what is, like, give me the sales pitch. Like, why would I want to consider an end dump or consider, consider a side dump over an end dump? We've kind of covered the weight. We've covered a few other different things, but what's, what's the huge, huge advantage? Like what's, sell me on it. Well, as you know, there's an old joke. There's two types of end dump operators those that have dumped one over and those that haven't yet. Well, for, for now, knock on wood, I'm still in the have not, but we've had a few close calls here and there. So it's a lot safer to run a side dump. Um, you're not gonna have to worry about dumping it over and causing a scene on the job site. Um, you're not gonna have to worry about it possibly getting into power lines. It's a nice, easy operation. Um, it's a quick cycle time. You can windrow uh, nicely with it as well. So for you guys that may not know, just to explain, a, a conventional in-dump trailer would basically hinge at the back and raise up. And to make that material come out on a 34 foot trailer, the front of that trailer would be well over 30 feet in the air. That's right. So the higher you get, the more likely it has to go left or right if you're not stable in the back. That's right, Mike. With this thing here, the center of gravity never raises. It pretty much stays the same on, that, on down. So we can, we can dump this thing in a lot of different scenarios. We couldn't dump a, a conventional wind dump trailer. Absolutely, Mike. And also at a full dump, ours is at a 90 degree angle with the chassis well to allow full clean up, clean out rather, of your tub and it dumps away from the tires so you're not dumping directly on your tires. So basically whenever we have material stuck in our bed, we gotta scrimmage our way up through there, hang on for dear life, 
sure. get it out or dig it all out and dump it. Well, this one here, we can just walk down the side. That's right. Clean it out. If for some reason you've got something real sticky, you know, you've got pieces in there, absolutely just walk down the side with a squeegee and pull her out. So does this have limitations? Like what should we be concerned about? What situation should we not dump in? Does it, does it matter if the trailer frame's twisted? Can we be leaning too far this way off the side of a road bank? What? Well, we'll show you. Um, we have a very stable design. You know, we'll go out, get some footage of you dumping, and it'll really illustrate to your viewers uh, the safety factor and the convenient factor of running a side dump. So the next question is, obviously, uh, any dump trailer is going to require a wet line kit on the truck. Right. This has got a few more functions. I'm assuming it's power up, power down. we got a tarp. So what do you guys offer, or how do I retrofit my truck to be able to operate this trailer? Well, of course, your truck does need a wet kit. It doesn't take a lot of flow to run it to two cylinders, either a five or six inch cylinder. Um, something else this trailer is equipped with is an EOH valve, electric over hydraulic. So jumped up here in the cab real quick. This is the box you guys offer that comes along with the trailer to operate the electric over hydraulic valve. That's right. And the convenience of having electric over hydraulic rather than um, a hardwired system, standard hydraulics are available with any Demco side dump to allow you to hardwire um, your dedicated cab switches and that type of thing. Um, however, we're finding we're sending more out with the electric over hydraulic than standard hydraulics just for a convenience factor. Basically, let's say you have a truck go down, um, and you might have a truck that doesn't have dedicated switching in it. Well, that's where this box comes in. You just move the box truck to truck, and all your controls for the side dump are in this control box. Right, so we installed this this morning. Uh, Aaron and I did what it took about 30 minutes, maybe. Yeah. And basically, there's one cord that runs from this box, plugs into the trailer, has a plug on the trailer, and then it steals power, or grabs power from the um, accessory outlet here, the cigarette lighter, and boom, you're ready to go. So this would be your dump and your return. This is your tarp, cover, uncover, and then if we had a lift axle, that would raise our lift axle. That's right. So to your point, simple, easy, you can mount that anywhere. You can mount it up here, anywhere you want to on the dash, down here with all the other, these are the controls for the actual dump trailer if we had it. Um, and you could pull that out, go to the next truck, that's right. Simple as um, running a cord, um, you know, through your tranny boot, out the back, to the trailer. Yeah, we went through the power steering boot. It worked great. Yeah. Worked good. So, well, I, the anticipation is killing me. All right. Well, let's go. I know you say a dump sideways, but I ain't convinced yet. Hey. I am, uh, I am, I am dying to see this. Well, let's thing. make a believer out of you and go play with it a little bit. Well, let's, let's, let's do a little test run here in the driveway before we get too carried away. All right. Here we go, we're gonna fire the truck up. This is my normal PTO we use for everything else. We're gonna engage that. So basically all I need to do is hit that switch and this thing's gonna dump. That's right, hit the switch and hold it and watch it go. work. Look at that. That is crazy. It's not gonna fall over on its side. Not gonna fall over on its side. That is wild. <laughs> Bill, I'm not gonna lie, that thing looks way bigger when it's on its side. It does, it does. It looks bigger and you can see the mounts uh, a little better. Um, yeah, so these the are the kits. mounts you were talking about for the high capacity kit. Right. I'm assuming it bolts in up there. Yep. Uh, I noticed there's none down here, so I'm assuming with the high capacity kit, it only you dumps. Only dump from the driver's side. Gotcha. So that's that's what allows you to be able to get it to uh, clean out. So you lose a little bit of convenience of going either way, but you do gain the gain the capacity there for that's sure. That's right. So, uh, it looks like it does come uh, with a couple drain holes in the bottom. Obviously, you guys got her welded up tight. She's been holding water. That's right. <laughs> so. Yep. You get two drain uh, drain plugs. A uh, couple other things I just noticed we didn't talk about a whole lot. This is got a complete tarp on it, electric tarp, uh, roll locking tarp as well. And then you guys went out of your way and put grease manifolds on this thing. That's right. It is an option for a remote grease bank yeah. to make greasing a lot easier. It does. So there's no climbing up on the trailer. Everything is, is super Everything easy. Everything to... you can reach it before you start your day. Gotcha. I'm uh. I've, I've went from intrigued to impressed to back to curious 
that's my that's my emotions <laughs> while I'm looking over this thing. So I man behind the scenes. I think it's time to put a load in this thing and see what happens. We gotta let Bill take the truck. <laughs> no, we'll we'll stick with that. Oh, you wanna stick with that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> let's uh let's set her back down in her cradle and uh let's go put a load in her. Bill, you wanna drive? If you guys want me to, I've seen this truck, and I've been just dying to get behind the wheel. <laughs> All right, guys, I am excited. Let's get this thing down. Look at this. I'm so excited. I actually cleaned the back window for you. That's how you know it's a big day. So, to get her to go down, we're just going to hit the return. Just like that. man behind the scenes all the salesmen are over there they can't yeah, hear they us can't hear us now what do you think is it gonna dump without flipping over i think we're gonna make it i think so you think so uh, yeah i mean i'm feeling more confident with it i'm definitely feeling more confident but i mean the Maybe first been that salesman pitch that i was here but bill was good yeah, bill was, was good. good bill was good so got me sold on it, so. all right well we uh we're gonna steal some of wade's steal some of wade's shirt here and uh I'm just I'm just dying to see this thing work. Like we don't really have yeah. a reason for doing this other than seeing this thing work. Yeah. So all right, let's get her loaded out. I say we load her down. Yeah. Load her down. I gotta get a spot to dump it. Alright guys, here we go. First first scoop of the new trailer. Gotta break her in somehow, right? First scoop in the new trailer. Hey, one thing I noticed right off the bat loading it is you can actually see in it, it's not near as high.
All right, most people would probably call that full, but we're gonna put this chair to the test. We're gonna put this chair to the test. We're not uh, crossing any scales or going anywhere where we gotta be concerned about weight. We're gonna put about two more scoops on her and find out what this thing's got. <laughs> well, what do you think? I think we got a got salesman there. I think we got a salesman nervous over there. Yeah, yeah. that was the whole. You don't goal. even want to look over. That here. was the whole goal of this. Yeah. Oh I man, he said load her down. So. Yeah. We got her loaded load down. down. That's right. I'm curious to see how it handles, I and mean, then I'm super curious to see how it dumps. So. Yeah. Let's. Uh, I guess let's head over the hill and figure out what happens or don't happen. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Take it down. Let's do it. <laughs> We've dug this chert far so far back over the years with this little turn getting in and out of here is uh might be a little more interesting with a longer trailer. Let's see if we can make it happen. You said load her down. You got her loaded down. We loaded her down, so we got a few curves ahead, a few hills ahead. Let's see how she handles. We're gonna see how she does. One huge advantage I noticed to loading the trailer is you can actually see in the trailer loading. Yeah, that's right, the visibility factor. That's something you forget when you're not doing it every day. Yeah, and then you said, you know, one trick you can do is turn it up on its side so if you gotta lay something heavy in there instead of dropping it in you can just kind of scoot it up in there that's right mike you can load it it's a lot easier to load that way and you can also get more of a handle on how much you are putting in the tub i'm still not convinced how this thing's gonna dump we're fixing to find out
going behind the scenes. I'm glad Officer Hoover's not involved in this video. That thing Puppy is. dog was growling. That, th that thing is way heavier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> way heavier. Yeah. It's uh, that's like a 210 and partial 850 in the same load. <laughs> <laughs> well, put the trailer to the test. Yeah, we got her loaded down there, bud. They're pretty right. awfully solid too. I know. <laughs> you see the level of concern over there? Yeah, yeah. I think it's enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, don't oh, tempt me. Next challenge. <laughs> hey, if you got a different truck, we can slide underneath it. We'll keep piling her on. <laughs> All right. I think what we need to try to do, Aaron, is I'm going to try to back up right beside those piles that are already dumped. Okay. And uh, we'll see if we can get her get her dumped right there in the middle of the road like the other ones. All right. Step. Sounds good. Is everybody ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready for this now. Bill, the material's gonna come out of the trailer and my truck's gonna be staying right side up, right? Absolutely, Mike. All right, are we, in, are we got a good setup here? Looks good to me. All right, well, what will I do? Yep. Head switch and see what happens. That's right. I don't know what it looked like from outside the truck, but it wasn't near as sketchy inside the truck as yeah. I thought it was gonna be. It's like about the time it balanced, it just all slides out. Yeah. Well, it looks pretty wild, but you're seeing the whole load come out at one time like that versus really? out of the back of the truck. Yeah, it was pretty wild watching it, it come out. It's, uh, I mean, I've felt a whole lot sketchier in a truck with an end dump doing stuff I shouldn't be doing, so. <laughs> and that, uh, that gives you a pretty good idea how much material. This is one triaxle. That's probably two tracks, so I think we're a little Three, overloaded. Two. Yeah. Oh. Pretty two, damn. You're going light on that, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty damn impressive, all right? Yeah, it is. All right, well, I'm going to pull out away from the pile and we'll set her back down. All right. Well, concept has been proven. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm intrigued to use this on a couple jobs and kind of see how it fits in. I, I see some huge advantages like dumping over retaining walls, dumping over guardrails, mm -hmm. dumping on the side of driveways. It might have some limitations, but we'll just have to use it and find yeah. out and oh, see yeah. what happens. But uh, it, to the test. it works. That is a way smoother operation than what I anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh. I'm thoroughly impressed. So long story short, guys, can I thank everybody that came down from Demco today? Well, thank you. They're gonna they're gonna allow this trailer to stick around for a couple months, let us use it on a few different jobs, a few different scenarios. 
I think we got some stuff we can put her to work. Oh, yeah. That's what's going to be the true test is get her out on the job and see how she fits in with the, uh, yeah. the rest of the fleet. But uh, she looks good behind the Mac. We'll have to see how she performs. I got high hopes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. If you guys run side dumps, are familiar with them, or got any thoughts or questions, drop them down in the comments. Let me know. I'll link all these guys' stuff in the uh, description down below. So if anybody's interested in more information, you'll be able to find it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, I consider doing that. So we can catch you on the next one. Don't bye. See you guys.